This is how you install your BioBolt X2. The first thing you need to do is determine how thick your door is. Your door should look something like this. It's a US standard prep door. Measure the thickness. Most US doors are between 1 and 3 quarters and 2 inches thick. The tailpiece or axle of your BioBolt X2 needs to be the same length as the thickness of your door. This is how you trim your tailpiece. You want to place the BioBolt down on something soft like this foam mat so you don't scratch the finish of your lock. You're also going to need two pairs of pliers. One of them is best if it's a type that has a flat edge like you see here. We'll place this right below the notch that we've determined is the one and three quarter inch which is the thickness of our door. Now we'll take this other pair of pliers and we're going to place them right above the notch that we want to snap. As you can see here, we want to break the tailpiece off right at that marker line. It's perforated so it'll be pretty easy to do. We're going to swing it back and forth until it snaps off. It's important to keep this bottom pair of pliers as still as possible. You don't want to swing back and forth too much and damage the interior part of the lock. In this close-up, you can see the line right there that indicates where we're going to be snapping the tailpiece off. I take the other pair of pliers right above it, firmly gripping both, and we just rock back and forth. It snaps off pretty easy. Go back and forth a few times. And... There we go. It's a nice, smooth, clean cut. Now with our BioBolt trimmed down to size, we're ready to install it on the door. All right, this uh, video will demonstrate basically how you install a BioBolt to your door. Uh, as the other videos show you, what you'll do is you need to trim this tailpiece here to fit the length of your door, this piece of wood is like one and three quarters inches, which is you know, normal size for a lot of doors. So we took the top part off here so it fits there. You'll notice when you put this onto the door, you put the cable through the top, this tailpiece or the axle must be vertical up and down, just like you see here. It'll even say up there. You can't really see it in the video, but there's a little arrow that says up. It must be up and down. This feeds through the hole like so and then you place the tailpiece through the plus sign or the add sign on your latch on your deadbolt. Now you're going to want to put a gasket here. It comes with a gasket. It's very important to have that but for the sake of this tutorial we won't have a gasket. Now you'll see this connector piece comes out here. The tailpiece is flush against here. When it comes out of the box it's about two inches so it would stick out but right here you can see it's flush against here that's what you want it to look like now this is the important part this is the back part this hole here has to be vertical which is up and down you want this to be vertical at the same time this is vertical it's not as easy as it sounds you might have to spin it around several times to get it to be pretty much vertical vertical it's more or less vertical Oops, go the other way so now you have those two things lined up you place this through here you put your axle through the plus on again you're going to want to have gaskets on both sides of your door this will connect here and then the tailpiece fits right into here I'm not going to connect the connector to it right now but Basically, it goes in like so. Whammo. And then you just bolt it in. And you are set to go. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you do it the first time, it will be very apparent. But uh, we did get some calls that uh, people were a little confused by the instructions. Really, the hardest part is knowing to trim this to fit 
the length of your door and make sure this slot here is vertical at the same time this part is vertical this could be the dimple up or dimple down sometimes you need to spin it four or five times to get it to be vertical just the way the gearing is uh, but there you go once the lock is installed make sure that the bolt direction switch seen here is pointing the same direction the deadbolt extends if you think the unit is not locking correctly, as if it's locking when it should be unlocking, like it seems to be working backwards, there are two things to check. First, check to see if you install the tailpiece horizontally instead of vertically. It happens all the time. Check the bolt direction switch. Make sure it is flipped the same direction as the deadbolt. For more information, we can be reached at fingerprintdoorlocks.com, 513-239-6322, extension 320. Thanks.